You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. For more than 125 years, songs have filled Leadville's Tabor Opera House. They say if it played in New York City, it played here. The Opera House is part of the Silver Circuit of traveling shows. And there were three Opera Houses on the Silver Circuit. There was one in Kansas City, one in Leadville, and one in San Francisco. Leadville started out as an unrefined mining community. Mining magnate Horace Tabor sought a way to bring some culture to his burgeoning town. It was built in 1879 and in just 100 days. They got to make things nicer and they, they got to, what I would say, class up the town. And they weren't necessarily about operas as much as it was just a nice place to take wives. This is how they used to sell the tickets. Each a night at the Opera House began at the box office. The Opera House was sold out every night except opening night because there was a double hanging in town across the street. Faces of actors gaze at patrons as they ascend the staircase to the theater. Inside the theater, original playbills give today's patrons a sense of what came before. John Philip Sousa and his Marine Band was here four times. Buffalo Bill, Anna Held performed here. Pretty much all of the big names were here. So many famous people have not only graced the stage, but also an audience. Greg Sandoval grew up in Leadville. He remembers performances of big names and small. Yeah, I never got to come up on stage as a child, but I remember coming to some of the plays and dramas and um, some of the concerts here. At the center of Leadville Entertainment is the historic opera house. It's a rich tradition and one that the residents of Leadville believe is key to maintaining their city's unique identity. Leadville is known for its history and its heritage, and this played such a huge role back in the um, early 1800s when this town was first being discovered and mined. Keeping it alive, refurbishing it, and bringing back the performances is very key to our Main Street efforts. This is one of the greatest buildings. To that end, the city of Leadville has agreed to purchase the Tabor Opera House. This is not just a city, uh, own project that we're looking at happening here. This is a community project. This will become a cultural center for the city of Leadville as well as Lake County. These are the boxing ropes from when Jack Dempsey boxed here. Buying the theater is only round one. Then we can really start to develop what the other um, priorities are going to take. Rehabilitation and preservation is an ongoing effort. It's probably something that will always be happening. Marble back switchboard is live. Those switches will light the lights on fundraisers beginning this summer. So right now we're in the basic preliminary stages of planning the, the production. It's a form of outreach aimed at generating enthusiasm for the arts and the opera house. I think it's really important, not only for the sake of keeping opera alive, but for the sake of keeping this wonderful historic building alive and all the talent that has been on the stage. This is where the leading lady would dress. The hope is to keep these dressing rooms full of names, both big and small, continuing a legacy began by one of Colorado's earliest philanthropists. To have this bit of horse taper, what he had built, still in Leadville as part of the history for my kids to enjoy, for my grandkids to enjoy, I just think it would be spectacular. Sunshine, okay, my sunshine, oh.